Hello and welcome to Linux Leech. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to use the mkdir command. So let's get started. Okay, the first step you want to take is to open up your terminal and you can use the keyboard shortcut which is holding Control, Alt and pressing T or you can open up from the GUI and you'll get a window that looks something like this. Okay, so mkdir stands for make directory and that's what it does, it allows you to make directories. Now this is especially useful if you've watched any of my previous tutorials, especially the cat and the redirection tutorial. So hopefully you tried those out and you've created tons and tons of different files using those, but now you need somewhere to put them and that's where mkdir comes in. So to make a directory, you just type mkdir space and the name of the directory so let's call it actually let's just cd to the desktop so you can see it and mkdir let's call it my files and if you look at the desktop just over here we've created my files directory that's how simple it is Okay, so let's say we wanted to create some kind of directory structure. So let's try and create some subdirectories within a parent directory, as it's called. So let's type in mkdir and then let's call it my cat files. And now let's put a forward slash because we're going to put another directory within that, which is a subdirectory, and let's call this one Alice. And let's do another subdirectory, so Bob, and then another one, and we'll call that one Trudy. Okay, so we've just kind of created a pathway as an argument to MKDIR. So hopefully that should create those directories. Let's press enter and see what happens. Okay, so we've got this error message here, which says cannot create directory my cat files Alice Bob Trudy. No such file or directory. Now, the reason why it's done this is because we're missing an option. And the option that we're missing, if I just type in mkdir, is dash dash parents. Now, what this option does is it ignores the error message if the directories don't exist, and it creates them anyway because the way this works is it actually looks at this from the bottom up rather than the top down. So if the parent directory of this directory here doesn't exist, it can't create it. And then if the parent of Bob, which is Alice, doesn't exist, it can't create Bob and so on and so forth. Now we can do double dash parents and then do our my cat files forward slash Alice forward slash Bob forward slash Trudy or we could make our lives easier and use a shorter command which is actually the shorthand version of parents which is just simply one dash and a p so now if we press enter on this, we didn't get any error message. And if you look at the desktop, it's created that directory for us. So now let's open that up and let's put it side by side so you can see what we've created. So if you look here, my cat files, which is the parent directory, and the subdirectory to that is Alice. So here's Alice. And then Bob's a child to Alice and then Trudy's a child to Bob and there's nothing else after that so we've just successfully created that directory structure so let's just delete that and let's try something else okay so what we want to do now is we want to put two subdirectories within Trudy which is the parent directory so Trudy had two children let's just say to do that what we can do is the 
same command again and to save me typing it up again I'm just going to use my up cursor the up arrow on your keyboard and it will basically you can scroll through previous commands just by going up and down so up one because that's my last command and now let's add something else to this so what we're going to add is another forward slash to say that we want to now create another subdirectory we're going to add one of these which is a curly bracket and now we're going to say we're going to put two child directories within Trudy so Trudy had a child called John and then we're going to put a comma and Mike and to close that all up we're just going to put the opposite curly bracket just to encase those and now we're going to press enter so now if we have a look at it we'll just open it up now so we've got what we had before which was Alice and then Bob is a child to Alice and then Trudy is a child to Bob and now we've got John and Mike who are Trudy's children or child directories of Trudy so that's how to use the mkdir command and as you can see it's really useful and if you were creating large directory structures it's a lot faster than doing it by hand with the mouse so I hope you enjoyed the tutorial thanks for watching and goodbye